22,752 fresh cases and 482 deaths in the last 24 hours has pushed the total coronavirus cases in India to 7,42,417 and death count to 20,642 figures from the Union Health Ministry this morning show. 4,56,831 patients across the country have recovered so far, taking the recovery rate to 61.53%. Key chapters like democratic rights, food security in India, federalism, citizenship and secularism have been dropped from school courses in the National Education Board CBSC's bid to reduce the burden on students amid coronavirus crisis. The Central Board of Secondary Education announced on Tuesday that the syllabus for 2020 till 2021 would be reduced by a third because of extraordinary situation as the world fights the coronavirus pandemic. The centre said today that three trusts linked to the Gandhi family will be investigated for alleged wrongdoing in financial dealings. The Home Ministry has formed an interministerial committee to coordinate investigations into alleged income tax and foreign donation rules violation by Rajiv Gandhi Foundation, Rajiv Gandhi Charitable Trust and Indra Gandhi Memorial Trust, the ministry's spokesperson tweeted this morning. Notorious gangster Vikas Dube was seen at a hotel in Haryana's Faridabad near Delhi on Tuesday. Hours after killing Vikas Dube's close eight in Hamirpur, his another close eight, Shamu Bajpai, was arrested after an encounter with police in Chaubepur area. Shamu Bajpai, carrying a reward of rupees 25,000, sustained bullet injuries on his leg. Shamu Bajpai was wanted in connection with Bikru Ambush, wherein eight policemen were killed on July 3rd. A 32-year-old man who recently returned from India and tested positive for deadly coronavirus will be charged with missing from a managed isolation facility in Auckland to go to a supermarket, according to media reports. The man, New Zealand's latest new case of COVID-19, escaped through a fenced area from an isolation facility, the New Zealand Herald reported. The World Health Organization pointed Tuesday to emerging evidence that the coronavirus might spread by air further than previously thought and warned the pandemic was still accelerating. The World Health Organization said it would put out a new scientific brief within days after an international group of scientists concluded the virus could travel far beyond two meters. <laughs> 